just fishing along here, just fishing along, better fish than, than some of them. And, uh, nice, 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 nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Well, I'll tell you what, the bass fishing on this lake, you know, for a lake that is known worldwide for so many years, is one of the best, best uh, uh, walleye fisheries in the world. And trophy musky fisheries really, really got popular here in the last few years. I seen the peak of this thing uh, uh, really turn on for these big smallmouth like this. You know, I started fishing these fish on Malak, the smallmouth population, oh my gosh, over 40 years ago. And all of the fish then used to be on the southeast corner of the lake. And in a day of fishing then, the, then Ron and I and a couple other guys that we would know, yeah, you know, in summer we'd go and throw topwater baits right on the shallowest, shallowest spot on the rocks, lipless crankbait, and occasionally a, like a shad wrap. And in four or five hours of fishing, you know, specifically targeting smallmouth, we'd get, uh, you know, six to 10 fish. And the, the fish, every, every one of them was about three pounds. And then all, all of a sudden, over the years, we've seen these fish spread more and more and more. The habitat is all around the lake, basically. It's perfect habitat for these fish. And they spread and spread and spread. And over 40 years, you know, some of the management philosophy for a period of time, for quite a period of time, was one fish uh, over 21 inches. That gave the fish a chance to really boom. And uh, it was just an amazing sight to see. And today, you know, it's not just a good fishery. Like I was just tr trying to says, explain to you, it's a world-class smallmouth fishery. And, uh, you know, they're gonna get it back. It's gonna be a world-class. I seen it when it was a world-class musky fishery, world-class smallmouth fishery, and, and world-class walleye fishery, all at the same time. So I know that these fish, oh, oh man, that's a big one, Troy. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 that's a big, that might be the biggest fish of the day. That one really fell, that, that one's going, baby. Whoa. Oh yeah, she's oh, yeah, a Yeah, that's one. a big one. Yeah, she's a donkey, man. And, and I believe we'll see this again here. I know that this lake can maintain world-class fishing like it has before for all three species. Yeah, you know, a little bit of, of, of the proper management and you can have them all. You can have all of them. Everybody's happy. Smallmouth fishermen, musky fishermen, walleye fishermen. Boy, this is a big fish. Big fish. Oh, come here, come here. Man, oh man. This is the kind, this, this here, look at that. <laughs> That's the kind of fish we're talking about. That's why people are coming here like never before to chase these big, big brown bass like this. Trophy fish. What's the difference between a real good fishery and a world-class fishery? Well, it's really, really simple. A good lake, and there's a lot of them, have a lot of numbers of really nice fish. They could be a, a, a two to four pound smallmouth and you occasionally see a, a five or a six. Uh, that's a good lake. Or a lot of nice walleyes, three to six pounds, and you occasionally see an eight or a nine. Or you see a lot of muskies up to the 45, 46 inch mark, and occasionally see a 50 incher. Well, here on Malak, you can expect to catch an amazingly big muskie, a bunch of big walleyes, or a bunch of big, big smallmouth any day you're out on the water. That's the difference between a good lake and a world-class lake. And there isn't too many bodies of water that fall into the wor a, a world-class fishery. This lake is one of them. Let's see if this is any. And Toby and said it's a little. A, uh... it's not too bad. Oh, not too bad. I got mine. I missed mine. Just wacky rigging one back again. here. <laughs> Got a lot of fight. Come here. Yeah, this one's not a little too bad. better one. It's a little better. That's a good one. Yeah, this 
Mille Lacs Lake is just an absolutely amazing fishery. I mean, it's a, it's a trophy. You can, you can get a you can get a, a trophy smallmouth bass, a giant walleye, or a gigantic, well, giant carp and giant muskie. This place is truly an angler's paradise. Look at that. <laughs>